Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Tammy Patzer, and today we have a really exciting episode with Amy Huntelman and Carl Hunter, the innovative minds behind Mind Flavors. I actually met Amy and Carl. And I think it was 2019 at a new media podcast event in San Diego. And I remember the mind flavors that they're going to be discussing today was very exciting and new. And I'm thinking, I bet there's been a lot of additions and changes and exciting happening. So I'm excited to catch up with both of you and uh, your expertise is in changing reality by changing your consciousness. So everyone, we're going to take a look at the unique power of mind flavors, which is a revolutionary technology that eliminates negative mind chatter and dispels chronic doubt, worry, and fear in four and a half minutes. Think about that. If you could change your life in four and a half minutes, they're going to share their journey of invention, the pivotal moment they realize the significance of their work, and even a story about a new member who received an unexpected $25,000 check thanks to their program. So we're going to just have a great conversation and talk about what they say, how we can create heaven on earth by living from the inside out and cultivating a consciousness that aligns with our desired experiences. If you've ever been interested in having a more expansive mindset, if you're an entrepreneur, speaker, or visionary, you don't want to miss this episode because I'm sure that Amy and Carl are going to really share a lot of exciting things with us today. And just to let you know, it's mindflavors.com. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Carl. Sammy, thank you so much for that. We're so happy to be here with you today. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, it's been, like I said, 2019. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And I'm not sure exactly how you guys have arranged to answer the questions, but I'll just go with the flow and we'll see how it all comes out. So first, Amy and Carl, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves and what led you to develop Mind Flavors? Yes. Well, we work with and create highly accelerated tools to rapidly expand consciousness. And the way that it started out was I had been using a process that I learned when I was in my early 20s of how to program my subconscious mind. And I had been using that process for quite some time very successfully. However, I noticed that it seemed like I had to work on a lot of individual beliefs because uh, to change our reality from the inside out, we we program the subconscious mind and then we observe change happening in the physical world from that programming. So I had been doing that. And, and what I noticed was that it wasn't up-leveling across the board like I was wishing that it would. Uh, I was able to manif- uh, create all kinds of outcomes that I loved, like winning free tickets to that event that we met at. Twice. Uh, actually won twice in a row. Uh, yes. And Steve also has that on video. It's humorous. <laughs> because I I programmed myself to to win. And, mm-hmm. and that's kind of how it works. We, we go on the inside and program, and then it shows up in the outside. What I was discuss- what I was became aware of was that the more I got into my subconscious and the more I got into programming my subconscious and learning the language of how to program my subconscious, uh, the more it became clear to me that there were a lot of 
tangled up beliefs underneath the surface. And so even though I could produce these results, mm-hmm. uh, I there wasn't the all across the board up leveling like I was searching for. And one day it became obvious to me the answer to how to accomplish what I was looking for. And that was to program my subconscious mind that I would ex- increase my abilities to create uh, exponentially. And then, like I said, I program this inside and then I just look on the outside for results of, of my programming. And so suddenly I was drawn to different ancient things around geometric configurations and different frequencies of sound that can influence our our brains, our brain waves. And I decided to start experimenting with those. So I thought about it for a few months. And then one day it just all of a sudden came to me, sit down and start making something, start creating something. And so I started putting all of these ideas together and I created a four and a half minute video that has been astonishing us ever since. And we immediately started seeing benefits from the raw technology that I was creating before I created it more into a focused um, tool. And so that technology was working on Amy and me because we were looking at it and we were not aware of it. We were the first ones. So we were not aware that it was actually working and, and having an effect on us in a positive way. And then we were in New York City. We lived in a loft and we were at opposite sides of the of the loft. I remember the day I was leaning down to pick something up and all of a sudden I noticed that my my mind was just clear as can be. And we had a lot of things going on. So it was it was strange to me. It was foreign to me to feel such clarity because I was I had worry about things that were going on and 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 I thought that was normal. And all of a sudden I felt like I don't have any of that. And I looked across the loft to Amy and I said, Amy, I just realized I'm not able to to worry about anything. Are you? And And I said, no, I checked in and I'm, and I was a chronic worrier. I I was always worrying about something and it it was a very uncomfortable way to live and to all of a sudden have that awareness and that freedom. And then he said, well, try, try to worry. Come on, try Try to worry about something. (laughs) And and I and I and I did and I couldn't and that is when we really realized that we have something here something something really powerful is happening and it's interesting that our our journey because we met thirty three years ago Valentine's Day nineteen ninety one we met at an event and I had just learned about how we can create our own reality by how we think feel and what we believe and Carl taught me the writing process that he's been doing for decades I got great results for that but we had so much to clear we had so much and and it was and our question was always we have to do this faster how can we do this faster and we were asking that question over and over many many years and then the, the technology came through him I believe as a qu- answer to that question of how can we do this faster well, four and a half minutes is pretty darn fast. What I think is interesting is how you said that this four and a half minute program that you created, it's still the foundation of everything that you're doing. So what you're talking about is that obviously you've studied this for many, many years, but so you're you created this process or program that helps you to to change the way you think about things. And then you have that realization that whatever you were doing was working because you literally could not worry anymore, but things were going on in your life. Can you explain how the process works? Um, I, I know it may, I don't know if it's complicated or or not, but I know, I think you said it, it's what you focus on, what you think about the internal things going on. Can you just explain that a little bit more so that um, we can understand it? Yes. Uh, well, we 
First of all, we to, to start, we create our reality by what we think and feel and believe. And so what Mind Flavors does is it, through observing patterns and, and geometric configurations in certain sequences, certain specific configurations, along with audio that is complementing that, uh, what we're doing is we're kind of giving your brain a reset. So it's bringing you back to who you are and not who you aren't. And, and when I say who you aren't, what I'm referring to is all of us picked up all kinds of programs along the way that, that maybe they were about our self-worth, maybe they were about our level of success that we could achieve on, on, on any subject in, in any area of life. Maybe we got programming about relationships and all of these things uh, affect our point of attraction, uh, what we can accomplish because of the, the self-talk that's going on on the inside. Uh, and so when mind flavors, when you watch a mind flavors, what happens is it, it clears out all those tangled up beliefs that are connected to limiting perspectives of reality that we picked up along the way. We might think as an adult that those some of those ideas are ridiculous, and maybe we've even been able to get good at at pushing away that mind chatter that that is constantly saying those beliefs just under the surface so that you don't really hear it. Most of us have gotten good at, at pushing that away or pushing it down to the point where we believe that we're not hearing it or that it doesn't exist anymore. And what's really happening is we're just very good at tuning into another focus. Mm -hmm. However, underneath that, those patterns are creating undercurrents pulling in the directions of those limiting patterns. And so the mind flavors basically just kind of clears that out, gives you, gives you the ability to, to start fresh. And, and because I've infused specific, um, word structures into the mind flavors. So that's why that's flavors, because there are different flavors um, using this technology. Uh, because there are different words, when we focus on those things, those different things start to expand into our in our lives. And those belief structures that we're limiting on those areas, they disappear and we suddenly start moving forward. Everything starts moving quickly. And in whatever area in life that you've been focusing on, if you haven't had, if someone hasn't had uh, or has been feeling stuck in some certain area or not moving as fast as they'd like it to, all of a sudden, everything starts moving very quickly. So it's kind of like a, the floodgates open with this. So how how is mind flavors unique compared to all of the different methods that other people have come up with um, to expand consciousness and to break the limiting beliefs? Um, what is so different about it? Well, we, ha we haven't seen anything that does what Mind Flavors does. And what it, what it does across the board that's unique is it does uh, get rid of that negative mind chatter. So your mind is clear. It does clear out chronic doubt, worry, and fear. And I say chronic because that's like what I was dealing with. We're not saying you're never going to feel that again, but it's the chronic doubt, worry, and fear that that does. Uh, and it's ultimately really bringing us back to who we are. And that's a unique also, because when you watch a mind flavors, see, we've been so conditioned to be in our head thinking all the time. And we've been taught that that's where the answers are. And um, when we're in our head thinking all the time, we're not present. And when we're not present, we're not in our power. And we're not in our power to uh, affect change and create the reality that we would really love to have. So the mind flavors is also, it's getting us out of our head. It's bringing us in our body and connecting with who we truly are, our divinity on the inside. And often one who has experienced mind flavors for the first time, they'll say, wow, I, I feel like I'm home. You know, they have that beautiful connection with who they are. Uh, another thing that it does, we just had someone experience it today for the first time. And it's a little bit baffling to some because they're not used to this. 
But the mind flavors puts you in a very calm state, yet energized state at the same time. And uh, most aren't used to that. Most are not even aware of what calm even really feels like anymore because of this um, world that we're living in. I, I can believe that because I know my life doesn't seem very calm, um, even when there doesn't appear to be anything happening. So with what you've been doing, like I said, it's been five years since we had our, our last conversation. What have you been doing? Um, you know, COVID kind of shut the world down, but we were talking right before we went on the air that that you went to a podcasting event um, right before they locked everything down and you literally walked in in one world and walked out into this this other world. But how have you been, um, how did Mind Flavors evolve in the last five years? I'm really curious to know um, what is happening now. Well, the technology itself has evolved. We're, I, I don't have a specific exact because we have some extras in as far as levels, but we're up to about level 13, 14, 15 around there. So that's how many levels of advancement have happened with the technology itself. And each advancement is almost exponential. It's so significant. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's equally as significant as the first time watching it the first time for our members when they watch the next level. So uh, that has advanced significantly. Uh, we have our, what we're doing actually launched and took off at that time. And we've been very full with uh, working with hands-on with um, over a hundred individuals that we've brought through these processes. And we've been observing very closely what, the outcomes from each one of them are experiencing. We've never seen anything like this before. Things that that are just happening, uh, seemingly coincidental, random things like checks coming out of the blue, um, things where someone didn't think that anything was going to happen with it, and all of a sudden it just shows up. Uh, and and we're not talking about over months. We're talking about in days. It's very, very fast what things are happening. So um, what else would you say? Well, I'd just like to add that the reason it can happen that fast and, and most is like, how can it possibly happen that fast? If we go in our mind, and analytical mind and think about that, it might say, well, that's just not possible. It must be a coincidence. And if we go down that road, we're really giving our power away because the truth is not, we don't believe, even believe in coincidences. We believe in alignment because we live in a, a beautiful space, this world, this reality that we're living. We are powerful divine beings. We are creators. We can have anything that we choose. It's all right here for us. And if it's not showing up, it's simply that we're not in alignment with it. And we have spent decades to how can we get in alignment really, really fast? This has been our focus this whole lifetime of ours and probably the lifetime before. And so we have gotten really good at that. And we put all the tools together that we can get in align quite quick, get in alignment quite quickly with who we are and everything that we're asking for. And then it just shows up. It, it's interesting that, that you're saying that because when I put out my offer for interviews, I did not know who would show up. And, mm -hmm. and there you two were. And then another person I, I know, uh, his name is Barry um, Achatel, and he does similar work, but he does it in a different way than, than you. And I just talked to another person who her focus is helping women to expand their consciousness. So I didn't know who was going to show up, but I find it so interesting who is showing up. And I was so happy to, to see um, you, Amy, and you, Carl, you know, show up on the people who wanted to touch base because it's, it's like you're reminding me of things I need to be reminded of. Such as where, how we're thinking, and the what we're putting out into the world, and everything. So I really appreciate that. So you mentioned 
that one of your new members actually on an unexpected check of about $25,000 showed up. What happened with that? How did that happen? It seems to be a fairly common occurrence with new members. Uh, and with this particular one, it's um, she happens to be in our neighborhood and we had an interesting meeting, another one of those synchronicities. And she watched the Mind Flavors, and it was five days. She immediately joined our program when she experienced it and saw how significant it was and felt it for herself. And then she she was five days into our program. It's usually either day three or day five when this happens. It's kind of funny. Uh, and on day five, she got an invitation from one of her uh, former donors for her foundation and for her nonprofit. And she loved this woman. So she went to have lunch with her and she told us about all these synchronicities along the way. And even afterwards, the, the interesting thing that was funny was, so, so she, the, the, the woman tells her, I've, I've, love the work that you're doing and i'd like to contribute more to what you're doing and she gave her an envelope and she said oh great and she wasn't expecting it so she opened it up and the the check was actually it was for twenty five thousand dollars, and it was written out to a different company of hers and, the, and so she asked her to to redo it and put it to the right name and when she handed her the check the check number was 428. And each one of the mind flavors, that's how long it is. It's not four and a half minutes. It's four minutes and 28 seconds. Exact. So she is aware of everything. And she was told that that's an absolute um, sign, and right? She said you know, her jaw that, just yeah. dropped. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it's, I, she, her, she does really amazing things um, in her nonprofit, um, experimenting with consciousness, like spoon bending and, and things like that. So she is aware, she pays attention, she likes to experiment. And and I love that. And I wish more of us would do it. And I loved how you shared the, the ones who are showing up to be on, on your show, Tammy, because that's like showing it as a sign of the times. Mm -hmm. It's a sign of the times that we're all waking up, that we're more than what we've been told, that we're more than what we thought, and that we do create our own reality. And so we put, and pay attention to numbers, the numbers that show up. So she's very aware that she creates it all. So she like created that number of 428 on that check. <laughs> And, and then later in the day, she's driving and the car in front of her says a line seven, seven. And that number was um, unique for her. It was like and, winning the jackpot. Yeah. And, and then, the sevens come and then another car shows up and it said, the it said flow, like being in the flow. And these are real signs from the universe, from this reality showing up to say, yes, this is what you're putting out there because what's inside we, we shows up on the outside. And it's just so fun to experiment. And if more of us would do this, even on little things, because we start with the little things, the subtle things, and then we notice the subtle shifts because those turn into the bigger ones. And the more that we play around with this and say, oh my gosh, I, I actually had some influence on what I just created here. The more that we tune into that, the more we believe that we actually have this power, the more that we're going to do it, the more that we believe and that just gets stronger and stronger and our belief is everything. So. That's really interesting to me. So how many, so you talked about the different reiterations of mind flavors, but how many different mind flavors are there? Um, and what, what are they focusing on? Oh, gosh, um, there's so many. Uh, well, I can tell you what we're focused on. We've had um, mind flavors for you know, divine self power. We've had them for sales. We've had them for making change easy. Uh, we have a new program that's coming up that because we've all been through a lot these last few years, right? We've all been through a lot and really tuning into where we're going next and who this is for. And it's all about tapping into who we truly are, our divinity. And realizing our power and allowing ourselves to be super powerful 
and to be in tune with our intuition and our creativity and our self-expression. So these are the mind flavors that we're creating right now. Well, that, that's really exciting because again, I'm, I'm so happy to see it expanding. What are all the, you have different programs that people can get into. Um, if somebody, where would they start now with you? Uh, great, great question. Because because the the technology increases, it's important that everyone starts at the beginning. That might sound obvious, but it's mm-hmm. it's important that everyone starts at the beginning. And so our our beginning program is called Supercharge. And Amy, would would you like to talk a little bit? about that? Well, that's what I was just saying a moment ago, what this program is about is, you know, connecting to our divinity at will, being in tune with our genius and our creativity. And so if someone would like, the first step really is to have a private screening with us. Mm -hmm. So someone, our website is mindflavors.com. And if you're ready to experience the technology, we do offer a private screening and you would go to mindflavors.com forward slash experience. So that would be the first step. I did that. So I just have to make the appointment because I was I was looking through your website, trying to refresh my memory um, about what we talked about back in 2019 when we did our first interview. So um, I wanted to go back and, and refresh that because I remember being so enthralled with all the work that you're doing. And then, of course, I think, like I said, right at that time, my father had a stroke and and COVID happened and a a lot of things, you know, got in the way of me moving forward with it. But I remember um, that everything that you are doing is just something that is an awakening and, and I think it is, like you said, serendipity when when you meet people or they show up in your life or in your inbox or or whatever that might be. I did have a question yeah. um, because we know that children and right now I am caregiving. I have a three year old and a four year old, two little granddaughters, and I really feel a big responsibility to make sure that they know that they're loved and things like that. Do you also have mind flavors for children? I couldn't remember if you did or not. Well, a couple of things to talk about on that. One is when an adult does the mind flavors experience, it affects the children in a positive way. We've seen this over and over and over again. With our members who have children. Yes. Uh, yes. Oftentimes, the children are acting out from things that the adults are going through, and it's just not obvious on the surface. It becomes obvious when the child stops acting out when the the mother or father does the mind flavors, and they start having a proper alignment happening in their lives, and their children feel that. And more than just feeling it, it affects their all aspects of their life. So it's very powerful in that way. Now, the other thing is we have had some children experience the mind flavors with wonderful uh, results. It is such a fast, uh, it's such an accelerated transformation of consciousness that uh, we're still working with adults mostly and learning as much as we can. We've learned tremendous amounts since we've started. And uh because the children are affected by it, we haven't felt it to be as high of a priority to focus in that direction because we're seeing the results from it by the adults doing it first. Mm-hmm. It is profound. Um, I, I've i shared it with my one of my niece and nephews. Uh, they watched it one time. They had a wonderful day. They weren't even getting along before that. They didn't fight that day. <laughs> and then my my nephew uh, was in a basketball, a high school basketball tournament. And he 
made the winning shot at the sound of the buzzer. And that's something he had never done before. And all of these things are just alignments that happen from clearing out the things that are in the way of that. Alignment. I think I think that's the key word. Maybe that should be my word for the year. <laughs> Alignment, because it, it makes so much sense to me, um, everything that you're saying, um, you know, when you are in a line and the other people around you, like the children would, I know, get the benefit of having adults around them that are clear headed and who have a higher consciousness. Before I let you go, um, I just want to remind everyone mindflavors.com and you can um, get that, make that appointment for the experience. So definitely do that. Is there anything that you'd like to add before we wrap up? Well, I would like to share that more than any other time, it's so important that we clear out everything that we've all, we, everything that's not who we are. And we all have that, have had that, right? In this world that we've been living, we've all been programmed against ourselves and we haven't been taught how to express who we are and we've been suppressing. It's necessary, it's so necessary that we clear these things out and come back to who we are. Uh, our vision now is to create heaven on earth. And we've also created a community called the Consciousness Expansion Community. Uh, if any listeners would like to join in this conversation about how we can truly change our reality by changing our consciousness. Oh, that that would be great. Um, thank you for the invitation. And th is that a, a Facebook group or is it a group within your um, website membership or community? The easy, the easy way to go to it is to go to consciousnessexpansioncommunity.com, and that'll take you right there. Consciousnessexpansioncommunity.com. Great. So I really appreciate it, and it's so great to see you again. Um, and I'll definitely sign up um, to take another look, because I think I looked before, but I don't remember for sure. <laughs> so I'd really love to have that experience. Well, one of these things that we've done since since um, we saw you last, we have been able to guide many individuals through this, and it's so easy to see and clear to see when somebody's experiencing the mind flavor. So we have some before and afters on the website where you can actually see it, what's mm -hmm. happening. I'll definitely go look. Like I said, I, I was looking at mindflavors.com right before the interview, and there are many different testimonials and before and after experiences and a lot of really good content so that you could see what other people are saying about it. So again, thank you, Amy. Thank you, Carl. I really appreciate that you arrived tonight. Oh. Sammy, always so good to see you. So yes. happy we got to have yes. this connection today. And we'll look forward to having you experience Mind Flavors for the first time. So we'll definitely look forward to that soon. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everyone, this is Dr. Tammy Patzer. Go make it a beautiful day. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.